Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Susbidius Truder, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, where last time, oh my, we made some beautiful moves through Italy, took some big steps towards reforming the Roman Empire. But, I did realise the year is now 1067, so we've made it to just about another more conventional starting date for Crusader Kings 2, so... That sounds like a good opportunity for us to have a little, you know, looksy round the world because, uh, yeah, some stuff is uh, not quite as it historically should be. Yeah, in this version of history, the Duke of Normandy isn't exactly interested in uh, taking over England. Mainly because England in particular is just an absolute flipping mess right now. So, yeah, England is basically... Northern England, that they've got a big revolt going on anyway. But um, Cornwall has gone independent. Oxford has gone independent. London has gone independent. Denmark owns the vast majority of southern England. The Vikings own Devon. And a tiny part of southwest Wales belongs to Scotland. So that's all not going very well. Well done to Ireland, though, because they've managed to actually pull together very, very nicely indeed. France is just about holding together. It spent much of this game in small pieces, but seems to be doing uh, pretty well at the moment. Burgundy goes independent on occasion. This exact moment in time, France has managed to uh, contain them. Though, uh, yeah, the Greek problem down south is most certainly uh, causing them uh, a few concerns. As for Spain, hang on, yeah, the big litmus test for Spain is uh, religion. So, uh, right now, the vast majority of Spain appears to be sunny, but there are still some good pockets of Catholicism floating around there. So, uh, yeah, that's mainly because of Valencia. Valencia is holding firm, but other than that, yeah, mostly, the Reconquista has not really, you know, happened as such. Obviously, we're well familiar with the problems of Italy and Romaine. Eastern Europe is a Bit of a mess, though uh, not so bad, all things considered. There are opportunities there, like there is a decently strong Estonia that I'm really hoping will one day ask to be made uh, Hellenic, and then there's uh, these guys. So, Galicia, Volhynia. So, uh, at some point, yeah, they're also... Hang on, I'm pretty sure you're... Yeah, your moral authority is uh, zero, my friend. So, I'm going to work under the assumption, sooner or later, you're going to want to join up to my much better pagan religion. And uh, I did have a thought about that. Which is, my religion is doing a very good job just spreading itself. There's a couple of tiny holdouts, but... For the most part, I feel like we don't need to be uh, micromanaging that anymore. So, uh, how about, rather than my CRS just, you know, dealing with uh, internal problems, uh, she could actually, you know, head out into the world and maybe start spreading Hellenism uh, abroad. Now that, that could be useful. Also, while we're in this uh, view, yes, as some people have pointed out, uh, there are some uh, very powerful Jewish superstates going on in this game. In general, the Jewish faith doesn't do very well in Crusader Kings 2. Tends to disappear pretty quickly, but uh, no, not on this occasion. We have got massive Jewish super states up north, and for a brief wonderful period, they were actually doing really, really damn well down here. So the AI might have formed Israel, which does not happen very often, but sadly, sorry, kind of got in the way of that myself. So here we go. No idea how well this is going to work or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my CRS over to... Oh, I can't send my CRS over to here, apparently. Am I not allowed to send you over to here? Why can't I send you over to there? Ah, because you're not an independent ruler. Got it. You technically work for this wider organization. Okay, so we need to actually convert though. Hang on, actually, your moral authority is... Yeah, the Jewish moral authority is better. So that's going to be trickier to do, I assume. That's fine. Over to the capital of Estonia. All right, get working on them. Oh, blimey, there's a war going on. Okay, once the war's done, get going on that. Lovely coat, by the way. Loving that fur coat. I mean, just because of the high moral authority, she's got such a good chance of success. So uh, if we're lucky, we might just be able to flip the king of Estonia to my way of thinking. And this bit of the world over here in the east I am less familiar with. But just in case you're interested, this is what's going on over in this part of the world. So, let's talk about what we need to do today. Which is basically continue the great work. Because uh, for the time being, my threat is uh, terrifyingly high. 
Alright, at this point, even with all of my strength, I can't go to war with literally the entire world. So, we're gonna have a peaceful few years. When I say peaceful few years, we're gonna be, you know, still invading, just officially, we're gonna be raiding. Like, organic free-range war. So it's all gonna be absolutely fine. And also, we're gonna be trying to, you know, help along our vassals. Weaken Venice, weaken Romaine, make sure that Ragusa and Thrace have got some nice, easy targets that they can just go and murder. And that did make me think of one thing, by the way, which is, I know this guy's gonna get replaced by somebody else, so it barely matters, but the more heads of houses who are, you know, of my religion, the better. Because if he goes over to, you know, Hellenism, then as a result of that, what he's gonna do immediately afterwards, and why am I getting more cities? We'll deal with that in a second. What he's gonna do is have access to holy wars. Then he can expand against Venice a lot faster. Okay, I owned a city down here for some reason. Problem solved, vassal creators. Okay, I own this city too. Seriously, stop giving me cities, you can have them. Okay, do the troops need a rest? A bit of a rest, but honestly, nothing too major, all things considered. Maybe just, you know, let them have a few months off, then we'll send them in. Greece is in good shape, however. Greece can just basically, yeah, jump on this nonsense immediately. And Thrace too, in fact. Thrace is looking very, very positive indeed. So, 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 so. Priorities. Take out the bits of Romaine that belong to uh, the King of Romaine, which is uh, this bit of land here and this bit of land uh, over here. So, if we just smash those, basically, he's got no personal army whatsoever, which is going to destabilize that kingdom very nicely. And Venice is completely due for another round of being set on fire. And I always enjoy setting Venice on fire. Also, when we start setting things on fire, let's talk all about the things that John got wrong. Yes, I now fully understand how raiding works. There has to be a boat there. Otherwise, the stuff we're raiding and looting and carrying off, it's too heavy. We can't get it home. So there has to be a boat there. So that's absolutely fine. Greece can just deal with the coast all along here. And Thrace can deal with Venice, so that will be absolutely lovely. Here we go. Raise up some vassal boats so I'm not paying for them or anything. Send them over there, and then we can begin some lovely, lovely looting. Right, Greece, stand up if you'd be so kind. I'll let you have a minute to, you know, get your morale in order. And bear in mind, my friend the Duke of Pex is trying to take over this tiny bit of Romaine. So yeah, anything we can do to uh, help him out, that will be absolutely lovely. Oh, and you guys are wasting no time, so Trebizond and Sicily just woke up flipping immediately, and they're going after Ancona, which is these three territories right here. So you guys are just on the flipping march. Oh, well done. Well flipping done, all right? With that taken care of, and... Okay, wasn't expecting this. Um, which one are you precisely? Are you like the Abbasids or the Breakaway Abbasids? You're the... You're the original Abbasids. I mean, okay, why exactly are we at war? Also, my CRS has immediately been thrown in prison, so that hasn't worked out. I mean, honestly, that's that's fine. We'll we'll just have we'll just have another one. I mean, I think this one's even better. Okay, let's start somewhere smaller here. So here we go, Moldavia. Let's see if we can convert some of these lads. If you get yourself thrown in prison. Honestly, that's that's fine. I've got plenty of other Hellenic people I can appoint. Okay, and the reason you've declared war on me is this is a holy war for Gillen, which is this territory over here, belonging to the ridiculous expansion of uh, Bulgaria. Honestly, there's a part of me that just wants to, you know, give in and say you can have it. But on the other hand, this is an excellent opportunity for me to basically just burn down all your stuff. Because in the future, I'm going to be wanting Jerusalem. And you guys are squatting on it right now. So, yeah. Burning all of this stuff down would not be the worst thing in the world then again. Is there any point to this? I could just let them have it. All I'm doing is giving them 3% moral authority. I lose 3% moral authority. But then it's at 100 right now. I lose some piety. I mean, honestly, is it even worth fighting these guys? I'm not getting anything out of it. And Bulgaria's a bit busy anyway. They've literally just declared war on bloody Moldavia. So, okay, we're one step out of the curve trying to convert those folks. Okay, I'm not going to bother defending this nonsense. But what I am going to do is try and make some money out of this war. Because if we're hostile to you anyway, 
I may as well just burn down all of this bit of Asia Minor. So we're just going to take that out and eventually maybe we'll bother surrendering. Maybe we'll try and force a white peace. Right, troops of Anatolia, you're flipping up. Uh, troops of Samos, you're up too. There's not much you're going to be able to do, to be perfectly honest. That's, yeah, that's going to be uh, too much for you. Troops of Armenia, get in there. Lovely. So that is, yeah, that's going to be plenty. You guys get over there. Deal with that nonsense. I'm not going to summon up the troops of Bulgaria, though. I'd rather keep them, you know, nice and fresh, ready for pushing against this nonsense. Then again, Bulgaria is the one kingdom that's not going to be pushing into Italy, because they've got absolutely no reason to do so. And there we go. On this occasion, this CRS has actually got permission to spread the faith. So, uh, yeah, Moldavia should be flipping Hellenic pretty quickly. Okay, troops are in good position, and uh, you know own it is it. Oh, gosh darn it, I can't do any of my looting right now, because I'm not at peace. Oh, this is... Well, this is unacceptable. This war is going to cost me a huge amount of trouble, purely because bloody hell. Right. Okay... I don't want this war dragging on, because as long as this war's dragging on, I can't loot. And honestly, do I even... do I even... You know what? You can have it. You can flipping have it. Stand down. Everybody stand down. Alright. He can have this stupid bit of whatever this is. Bulgaria, you shouldn't have had this in the first place. Right. There we flipping go. We have peace. Congratulations. That means it's looting time. So here we go, down to Provence over there. And as for you guys, get ready to move into, yes, Venice itself. Oh gosh darn it, Greece is going in the wrong direction again. They're expanding north to take over this bit of territory. Well, that's, that's not helpful, guys. Also, I seem to have been uh, beaten into uh, Venice by my own flipping troops here. So... Okay, guys, I was kind of hoping to besiege this place down and, like, raid it. So, please, like, go. I'm handling this. Am I actually taking this out, by the way? And, wait, is that... Are those my troops or not? Yes, yes, they are. Good. So, we're getting on with that nonsense. That's lovely. You're getting down over here. And I'm just studying the stars as well. Because Polyphemus is a very intelligent individual, just like his father before him. And now the sieging begins, though somebody might be planning to uh, do something against me. Who are you actually taking on here? I don't know where you're going, but I'm pretty confident we can, uh, we can handle it. Everything's under control. And there's a jihad for Egypt going on against the Pope. So stay out of that one, it'll just keep them busy, that's fine for me. And here we go, the sieging of Venice has begun, though technically that belongs to the... Okay, so Trebizond got there first. So now we're just sort of uh, sieging on their behalf, which is not really what I wanted, but whatever, I suppose. Uh, we are helping them with, uh, yeah, this business over, uh, over here. So I suppose that's for the better. Plus, we're also stealing huge amounts of money right now. We're actually, we're picking the money up in this boat, so that's all absolutely fine. And, ooh, is that by any chance? Oh, and Themios has stepped forward and said, yes, I shall train your troops for you. Okay, this is... Oh, wow. Everybody becomes a siege leader. Yeah, take it. I don't care if I owe you a favour. All right, that's a brilliant deal if everyone gets to become a siege leader. Ah, here's interesting. My apprentice and blatantly boyfriend has got an idea for invoking a divine being. Okay, I'm up for summoning Satan. I've got some, like, copper just sitting in the treasury that we never use for anything. You can have that. Also, it appears that actually, Romaine is sending their forces to try and intercept. Okay, well, you can try it. I've actually got some... Oh, that's Anthemios. Okay, I'm not risking Anthemios in case this goes a bit on the, uh, bit on the wrong side. But, I will gladly send... Yeah, we've got Hippolytos right at the front. And what's this territory? Oh, it's just planes... I feel like we've... Oh, they're actually sending in 2,000 reinforcements, aren't they? Okay, we might be in a spot of trouble there, actually. My raiding force might be about to be a little bit, uh, killed. Everything's under control, it's all gonna be fine. Maybe send in some reinforcements over towards Romaine. Yes, deploy the forces of Bulgaria up to 12,000 now. Very, very nice indeed. Right, just start them moving in the right direction. 
if you'd be so kind, get them over to you, Dean, right there. We might be able to win this one anyway. Just because, yes, 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 it's fine. Just, just ignore all that nonsense. So, no, I'm not raiding any laboratories. All right. How's this battle going? Because I feel like I've got the better commanders. And, okay, summoning Satan is relatively important. I'll give you that much. And, ah, there was a river crossing. That you've got a significant advantage in troops. I should have the better commanders though. Okay, so the ritual. We're going to be summoning possibly Satan, possibly Zeus. Who bloody knows to be perfectly honest. So uh, I feel my soul disconnected from my body and beginning to ascend. Right, so we've just done a lot of drugs. Like so many drugs. And uh, what are we going to learn about the sun, the stars, uh, the gods in general or secrets? I don't actually know what any of these actually, you know, specifically do. So, I mean, I've built an observatory. I love stars. Uh, yeah, let's learn about some stars, damn it. Also, who's died? I don't know, but the king of Croatia does really, really want to be on the count. He's pretty appropriate, so go on, why not? Okay, back to the battle here, and on the flank it seems to be going uh, pretty well so far. Yeah, we're definitely driving them back on... Uh, one of the flanks here. There's going to be some casualties, but the flank is going pretty well. The center is just holding. That flank might be about to collapse, though. We might be going to win on one flank, but no, we actually won on the other flank, too. And now, all of a sudden, oh my flipping goodness, yeah, naff off. Naff off, you stupid losers. Actually, I think you'll find you have been destroyed. And diplomacy plus one from speaking to God. Love it. Oh, Lardy flipping da, and Themios has demanded a place on the council for his favour. Um, to be honest, you can have one. You're pretty good. You'd make a good marshal. Oh, he's already on the council. He just sort of helped himself, which is, to be honest, fine. That was the position I was going to give him anyway. So, uh, yeah, you just get on with uh, training some troops, please. Now, to do that, he booted out the king of Bulgaria, which was very rude because he is my boyfriend. So, uh, okay. What else are we going to do? Also, sorry, I did look this up. Ares' own just means he took part in the Great Holy War, which I could have done if I just literally set myself as a commander for 30 seconds, but then I didn't. So, uh, yeah, basically I just turned down two free marshal, which is, uh, well done me. Good job, John. You know what? He's very happy with me anyway. I'll just leave him off the council for now. And oh my goodness, it would appear that we have destroyed these guys and also captured their commanders. So, uh, Oh dear. Oh, flipping dear. More coming in. More being destroyed too. Another small victory. You showed up a day late and a dollar short. And uh, eunuchs. Okay, always accept a eunuch. Eunuchs are great. Yeah, look at that right there. 25 stewardship. Love it. Oh, I'd love to give him a job, but to be honest, yes. Uh, the sword of Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, etc. does need to have one too. Now, back to the looting, now that we've, you know, trashed your stupid army. Right, Bulgarians have arrived. Deploy the Bulgarians, please. Oh, hang on, the Bulgarians are, yes, massively over supply. I forgot, up in the mountains over here, yes, yeah, supply is, uh, supply's low. Okay, but if you stay here just a few days, you might be able to capture the Romain army and do a lot of good damage to, uh, to them before they actually get anywhere. Okay, when are you going to be, uh, locked in six days you know what that's that's fine take a small amount of damage just to guarantee that and my new court physician wants some money you may have money there you go and i just lost like two thousand bloody men okay shouldn't have uh just you know stayed standing in the uh in the mountains there we'll do this battle then we'll head south to the capital and we'll just sack that it'll be fine Right, battle's going nicely in my favour, despite lack of... Actually, we're losing some troops on the middle just because... Wow, 33! Okay, you've got yourself a really good commander who has a thousand faces and might be about to... Might be about to somehow turn this around single-handedly. No, no, we were able to chase them off, but we took a lot of casualties there, like... Like 5,000 casualties! Hopefully some of them will come back. When the battle's over, you just retreated, right? Yes, you just retreated. Okay, they've got a uh, 33 Marshal Commander ready and waiting to go. That's no joke. Oh, and it looks to flipping me like you guys have decided to uh, 
give up. Yep, Venice has just surrendered right there. Absolutely lovely. So Ancona now belongs to the extremely long nation of Trebizond at this point. You guys are doing a very well expanding up in that direction. Good job. So yeah, right now Venice has technically four domain because yeah, it actually holds a fair few cities dotted about. But basically, you've got no troops. You have no troops whatsoever. Can we actually go over there and take all of this? No, because for some reason you're still... You shouldn't still be occupying that. The war's... The war's definitely over. Okay, Provence has been entirely looted. So let's move over here, deal with the army of Provence, and then deal with these guys. Because, yeah, Hippolytus is my own 30 standard general. He's very, very good indeed. So, yeah, you know what? Screw your stupid mountains. Hippolytus will just lead the charge personally up the mountainside. You are going to be screwed and, uh, yeah, give money to become more clever by upgrading my observatory. That's definitely a good idea. We'll lose some troops pushing up the mountain, but it shouldn't be a massive deal, to be honest. Yeah, even with the mountain advantage, uh, we're barely losing anything just because Hippolytus is so strong in the centaur. Also, for goodness sake, Hippolytus right? so he tried to revoke Alexandria. And now he's got an uprising on his hands, and now he's not got enough troops. Okay, would you mind just standing the flip down, please? Please surrender to... Am I telling the right person to surrender? I'm pretty sure I'm telling the right person to surrender, alright? I will give up some prestige. If you like money in the form of reparations, you can have it. But I need this guy to be, you know, clear of any trouble, so he can actually get on with kicking out the Knights Templar. And 300 gold. Done. Absolutely done. No problem. And Hippolytus owes me a favour. Is there any chance I can actually, you know, use that to make him attack the knights over here? No, unfortunately not. That's a shame. But seriously, just take a moment, rebuild your strength, and then move in and take these guys out. Because seriously, they've got like 800 troops there. You can do this. Also, my threat is now only at 54.3. Is that because I lost a war and gave some territory? Ooh. Well, now that's interesting. I lost a tiny little bit out of the back of Bulgaria I didn't even care about. And my threat appears to have dropped by like, yeah, 40% in the time I'd have expected it to maybe just go down by one. So, okay, intentionally losing some wars might be uh, of interest here. Okay, Trebizond's just hanging around here. But in theory, am I just allowed to, you know take over this territory and sack it and burn it for money anyway because it would appear that I actually can beautiful so you know what everything's fine just just move in it's not a problem there we go how much money did I just make oh my okay I've got myself an interesting relic a finger of St. John I swear I've had like three of those over the course of this game, I am beginning to doubt whether they're real. Aha, and Croatia's finally finished with its stupid war against some random Viking settlers over here. So, uh, you guys have now taken a bit of extra land, which works for me. You may now turn your attention back to, you know, the important thing. This nonsense over here, just keep on pushing in. Also, the army of France appears to have, uh, yeah, I presume sailed its way uh, down over here. Uh, towards Corinth. So, uh... I mean, as you're not going to bother dealing with that, I guess I will. And here's good. Opportunity to pick up, yes, yeah, sympathy for Christianity. Never a bad idea, just because, you know, there's plenty of Christians in the world who we don't want to murder right this second. So, being able to be sympathetic to every religion going, not a terrible idea. Oh, and this is sad. My greatest general, Hippolytos of Samos, has died. He succumbed to uh, severe injuries, presumably received during the various, you know, raids we've been taking part in recently. Oh, that's really sad. He was a good egg. Also, I've just realised that, yes, I can't actually deal with the French situation because I'm actually technically not at war with them. So that's, that's unfortunate. Okay, uh, back home, lads, back home. Apparently we can't actually do that after all. Also, you folks should have gone home long ago. Sorry about that. Right, who's the new Duke of Samos? Because honestly, I'll just give you the duchy voice royalty like again. That's absolutely fine. Okay, you're a kid for now. No problem. Here you go. 
And Bosnia appears to be looking to, yeah, finish off Georgia once and for all, which will be nice, because at that point, we will have properly reunified the Empire. That'll be great. And somebody who's trying to convert me to Catholicism, fine, that was part of a wider plot, but no, we should just get rid of it. I'm already paranoid, so there's no negative effect from that whatsoever. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, the Bulgarians and people are trying to kill me. Okay, well, uh, I am, oh, I'm not very intriguey. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can see how that would potentially be a problem. Do we understand who? Because I've got a decent spy master. Well, vaguely decent anyway. Uh, okay, known plots. I mean, I know there's a lot of them. Most I just let these happen. Do any of them involve, like, you know, me? Just look out for a nice gold banner. Okay, none that I can see, so I'm not sure who's doing that or why. Just check the state of my uh, vassals here, in particular by rank, because... Uh, my vassals are mostly a chill bunch, aside, of course, from uh, Hippolytus. Yeah, he was never keen on me because I did steal some stuff from him at one point. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, mostly positive. So I can't imagine many people are going to be, you know, backing that plot. Here we go. Bulgarians have made it round in time and we could actually do with some more commanders. Especially now poor old Hippolytus is dead. Here we go, my boyfriend, the king of Bulgaria. He can have the job as he's not being martial anymore. And you are, yeah, pretty good over in Adana. You're pretty damn solid. Uh, naturally, Hippolytus sort of hates me. So uh, may as well just kind of, you know, put him into the front line and see what happens. All right, folks, in you go. This is, well, it's mountains. But you should have superior commanders. Everything should be uh, A-OK. -okay. This is basically just, yeah, helping out uh, Thrace who right now are trying to take over this bit of territory. So if we just go and interact with all of this nonsense, and the center's looking a bit dicey, to be honest. We're driving them back on the flanks. The center is holding really firm, actually. Oh, this is not looking, not looking so hot. Okay, never mind. One of their flanks has collapsed, and now the other one has too. That was looking dodgy for a second, but it's that same guy. It's this amazing guy with 33 Marshall, and uh, hang on, what do you mean an extra holding slot in Zeta? There's there's nothing left in Zeta. Can we open it? Oh, yes, there is. Sorry, I thought we already had six slots there. Um, I'm going to be honest, that would put me into, into debt, and that doesn't even fit in the bloody box anymore. Bloody hell. Um, okay. That would put me into... Uh, 500 golds worth of debt. You know what? I'm fine for now. Maybe later. I mean, due credit to this guy. He is refusing to break. We are shooting him from every side. My flanks have come in and surrounded him. And he's not... What? Is he about to win? Bloody hell. Okay, you know what? Due credit to this guy. That guy's a flipping star. He just beat the Bulgarian army. And no, the Thracians have come in to reinforce. Day late and a dollar short, guys. But thanks. At least we didn't lose. Do we at least capture this guy? We really need to get rid of that guy. <laughs> that guy is a concern. And we've got an adventurer coming in. Okay. Who precisely is this guy? We got ourselves two years. Don't know what he's planning. But yeah, adventurers are trouble. Plot to kill him, please. Sadly, yeah. While well, we can bribe people, we'll never get up to 100%. Whoever this guy is, we'll just have to fight him when it comes to it. That's a shame. Also, young Prince Apollo needs a childhood focus. Okay, so born in the purple, uh, Sagittarius, giving him a bit more martial. The martial's looking okay. Alright, I'm gonna take the struggle gamble. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, and this is no good. Trebizond's being kept distracted by the fact that, uh, yeah, they've now got a rebellion going on. Is it for anything important, by the way? Uh, no, it's just against tyranny. That's not even that significant. Well, that's going to annoyingly keep them busy for a while. I could just make them shut up. I mean, I'm sitting on 2,000 gold. Yeah, please stand down. In fact, she's willing to do it without actually asking for anything. Good. That means Trebizond can now get on with uh, the much more important business of... Uh, pushing into all this territory. Okay, I'd say after that nonsense, Bulgaria deserves a break. We're going to make their troops uh, stand down, give them plenty of chance to uh, heal up and whatnot. However, yeah, the forces that were attacking Venice can now come back onto the mainland, uh, deal with the rest of this. This guy needs to be eliminated sooner or later.
Ah, yes, and don't forget, we're sitting on 300 gold right here. Troops, return to port, please. You can... There we go, look at that. And you are also carrying the, um, the prestige with you. Obviously. And tax and levy size are up too. Well, better and better. Not sure if this is going to affect me in any way, but there appears to be... Yeah, some rise of the sheer faith, some new guy floating around who's important for some reason. Right, keep an eye on that. Also, Genoa appears to be coming in to defend its own. Alright, uh, deploy my commanders, please. Here we go. So they're coming in. I should have the superior troops and, yeah, honestly, they're just... They're just falling apart. These troops are garbage, especially on one of the flanks over there. That's just going to collapse momentarily. Then we turn pressure onto the centre. Judoa's troops are nothing. As Oh, hang on. Wait, what did I just see up there? Wait, wait. Come back. And yes, he's doing it. He's actually flipping doing it. Alexandria is turning its strength on those guys. Good. That's what we need. We can't reform the Roman Empire while well, there's just bloody knight hanging out in a castle in Alexandria. Well done, Hippolytus. Oh, hang on. Something's, something's gone horribly wrong over here. I think you've got reinforcements from somewhere. Okay. The Greek forces have just been chased off. We might lose a commander potentially. And you guys are returning to the boats. Fair enough. To be perfectly honest. Okay, you know what? We should probably say, oh, it was the Romain army with Watts' face. That guy is, that guy is starting to trouble me. Right, everybody back ashore. That's not an efficient way to go, but whatever. You know what? If you're going to go that way, you may as well go into Rome itself. Then the journey makes a bit more sense. And 700 gold too. Boom, love it. Right, guys, stand down. That's reasonable. You've done a good job. So, it looks like Greece is doing a very good job dealing with all this nonsense. Should be able to break down the French king very soon. And yeah, Thrace will be claiming Tyrol over here. Absolutely lovely as well. We've already taken this area over here. At this point, yeah, Venice has 700 troops and is Catholic. And everybody in the world could, if they wanted to, just declare a holy war. So... I've got to feel like sooner or later, Ragusa's going to want to do that. Though I suspect you guys are under... You guys under an actual... Yeah, you guys are under a truce. In five years' time, however, it's go time, all right? You guys are going to be having Venice. Also, somehow, Bulgaria failed to take Moldavia. Not 100% sure how you managed to fluff that up so badly, but you seem to have been distracted by the fact that these guys have gone a bit on the, uh, the rogue side. Which is weird, because you've got like, yeah, 1,800 troops versus all of Bulgaria. So yeah, good luck with that one, you stupid losers. Okay, so the siege over here is underway. Looks like, yeah, there's 1,500 troops coming over here. But, to be honest, they're going to be annihilated by 4,300 troops. So, uh, come on, please, go and get them. Hit them, destroy them. There we go. Well done. They've got the advantage of desert for their cavalry, but desert's a very small thing here, and okay, Epirus and Trebizond being friends, I'm fine with that. Wait, how long is... Who's that running Epirus? Do I know who you are? I hope so, because apparently I gave it to you, like, 20 odd years ago. Ah, yes, of course, I remember this. You're actually married to the king of Trebizond and Sicily. Sorry, I'd forgotten about that. Right, so this war down here seems to be going... Very well. You're just smashing those troops immediately. In fact, yeah, you've taken literally the only thing they've got. And you've smashed their army. And now you can just go and take out the rest of it. And, uh, oh dear. Okay, so I'm getting stressed in my little observatory. Um, 10% stressed. Or, oh, I'm not losing diligent. It's only 10%. And, okay, good. Good, good, good. But it would have been fine anyway, because, yeah, if I get stressed, don't forget, I can just brew the potion. So that's fine. Oh, we've got tragic news here, though. Um, Anthemios has died. Clutching at his heart. Oh, no. Oh, Anthemios, you were looking really good. You were an absolute flipping sure thing. No, tragically, he appears to have just got ill and died tragedy there. He would have been a great emperor, but no, it has not worked out, meaning my new heir is... Okay, who the cock are you? 
Okay, this is the second son of Princess Anastasia. She just keeps producing children. And he is... Uh, he's an elusive shadow. That's a good education. Humble, trusting, brave. I mean, he's fine. I'm not convinced by that mustache, to be honest. But he's, like, sort of fine. Okay, I feel like we might be going back to uh, plan A here. Like, you know, my own children. Definitely feeling like my own children should be back in contention at this point. You know what? As a starting point, I might just vote for... Actually, who do I want to vote for? Oh, that's... That's tricky. I mean, if I vote for Poseidon, the problem is lots of people will go with me. I'm just kind of curious who people want to be the next emperor. You know what? He's a safe bet. I'll vote for him now. Wow, I have a lot of weight in this thing. I'll vote for him for now. We'll see what else happens. Yeah, Hippolytus has definitely got some views behind him, but not enough. And that actually means, yeah, my boyfriend can have his old job of Marshal back, so that's nice. Oh yeah, that war's already 54% in favour of my lad. Good, good, good. Well done. And yes, of course, because I think he died without any children. He did have a child, but the child died when he was a baby. Bad luck. Yeah, this territory is now actually reverted to uh, Antioch. Because of course, yeah, he actually uh, came from Antioch originally. Oh, the boy's gone and done it. He's flipping done it. And with that, oh, he's... He's actually, oh, oh yeah, oh flipping yeah. Right, over to the all important flipping intrigue screen here. I think if we now check, oh look at that, controls the Duchy of Alexandria. That is now done. Venice is now basically harmless. Genoa has been burnt down so many times that we just need to move in and become king of the ashes. That just leaves Jerusalem and Carthage. Also, I'm not sure how concerned we should be, but uh, yeah, this uh, this group right here, the Idrisids, they seem to be doing pretty well. Like, they have absolutely beaten the hell out of Amalfi, who were once very powerful. Still, honestly, 11,000 troops, it's not that bad. We should be able to handle that easily. Could go up to more like, uh, yeah, 17, 18,000 when they're fully at strength, but I'm not worried. I'm not worried about that at all. We do technically have, yeah, a truce with these guys until 1078. So we can't move in and take Jerusalem regardless. But you guys seem to be... Ah, yes, of course, you've got that uh, big old crusade going on. How's that going for you, by the way? Right now, the Pope is winning. Good for the Pope. I mean, if that just wants to drag on and on and on and drain manpower around here, then that'd be great. Maybe in, yeah, by the time we hit 1078, we might be in a position to uh, do something about that. In this game, so many people have been concerned about the eating habits of emperors. It's very peculiar, but uh, okay. Hippolytus is saying that I need to actually eat more food because I'm a bit too skinny. Now, because I'm paranoid, I could just say no. I could risk becoming stressed. Honestly, sure, I'll eat a bit more, because I'm not seeing any sign I'm overweight right now, so that's fine. If I get overweight, we'll just go over to hunting focus if need be. Also, we seem to have problems down in uh, France. Okay, so uh, the Aquitanians have decided they want independence. Well, very well, you stupid bastards. Time for you to go down. Okay, I've got 5,000 troops standing right here, just on account of Greece. As a general rule, these guys are trash. But actually, that's... Okay, that's less heavily light infantry than I was expecting. You guys have actually got, you know, 70 heavy cavalry apiece because you're French. Meanwhile, over here, that's not that much. With decent commanders, we might be able to give it a go, but I'd still be a bit worried there. Okay, I might send you some reinforcements. All right, uh, turn off the raiders. Just get these guys over here fast as possible. You guys just meet up there. That's absolutely fine. That should be enough strength just in case. Okay, I've been promised that a very good herald has just showed up. And honestly, yeah, right now, uh, the guy who's actually my Magistros doesn't need to be uh, my Magistros. He's not expecting to be, so uh, go on. Sure, so uh, Simikos has apparently arrived and will be uh, good at something. So, uh, okay, who's this Simikos guy? Well, he's not showing up at the top of here, which is a bit of a concern. 
We just paid a hundred gold for this idiot. Right, well, you can just go. Also, I'm allowed to just improve myself, so I should do that. I'm going to improve myself right now. So there we go. Lose some party, lose some prestige. Don't care. So, okay. Need to get myself either diplomacy or stewardship, or martial or personal combat, or intrigue or learning. You know what? Take diplomacy or stewardship. Hope for diplomacy. Nope, got stewardship instead. Well, that doesn't hurt. And if Apollotus was planning to, you know, do something to trick me because he kind of hates me, it has not worked out. Apparently, I feel much better now I've been eating a bit more. Oh, it is interesting. Italy appears to be attacking Ragusa, but it has not worked out for them. Yeah, they just do not have the manpower for this. And I'll be at leveling up too. Absolutely lovely. And, uh, ah, Prince Hermes, I'm educating you myself, so... Uh, you're more on the, uh, yeah, stewardshipy side. Hmm. Okay, we'll go for duty. Duty's never a bad call, especially for, yeah, someone of that sort of leaning. Okay, so Italy's army's just been completely trashed right there, you stupid loser. I've moved up to uh, the next rank over here, so hang on, what does that actually mean? Ah, make a horoscope, though, to be honest, I can do that anyway. So, uh, I mean, I guess it's worth one learning, which is not the worst thing in the world. The more exciting one, of course, is, yeah, choosing a hermetic art. So we can actually have a special little bonus and my own little novel. So I can actually, yeah, keep that as a treasure, which would be lovely. So hopefully we get to pull that off, because I'm only 37, so I've got plenty of time. Okay, so on this occasion, we're not going into a golden age. We're going into a nightmare dark age. So uh, it's kind of my duty to tell everyone about that. But I can PR this. A little bit, alright. We'll work on the messaging. We'll kind of, you know, not use the term Dark Age in any of the literature. It's all going to be absolutely fine. Greece has totally expanded over there. Yeah, they completely 100% have. Uh, so, uh, yeah, in fact, actually, that's where the rebellion is, John. <laughs> you kind of missed the Greece won that war, didn't you? Yes, yes, you did. Uh, so, uh, okay, tax down, but revolt risk down as well. So, this is fine, okay? Everything's going to be okay. We're not entering a dark age, probably. Oh, and this is nice. Valerios. Now, this is positive. If we're lucky, we can guarantee him content. You want your vassals to be content. Because then they, yeah, then they chill the flip out and stop being annoying dicks. Good. Okay, army has now drawn up here. Honestly, I was probably overthinking this. But you guys had a lot of heavy cavalry for a revolt. So, uh, no, no, no. No independent Aquitaine, please. Uh, just head in there, completely flipping smash these guys, and uh, Greece is eating a lot of France right now. By the way, is France suffering anything particularly uh, bad at the minute? That is uh, nothing too major, just basically they want to change the king. Got it. So, there we go. Rebels are falling apart. No problem at all. In prison for some of you. Job done. Also, what the flip is going on over here? Guys, why can you not be trusted to fight your own bloody wars? All right, you are losing troops like crazy for some reason. Don't know what happened to the army of Padua, but Italy somehow won that one. So, okay, everything's fine. We just need to go and help out literally everybody, as usual. Okay, uh, send in, yes, you guys, send in this lot. So, you guys are now going to be looting. Deploy them into, okay, deploy them that way if you really want to. Deploy them into, uh, Italy, to go hostile to Italy. Then we'll go smash this lot. Meanwhile, the Bulgarian forces have had a good chance to recover. You guys, uh, go hostile, head into Romaine, and then we'll go smash this lot. Because apparently nobody can be trusted to do their flipping jobs. Apart from Greece, who keep expanding in the wrong direction. Oh, Greece is doing the stupidest war of all. They've attacked the rebels uh, to try and get this territory over here, but the rebels might not exist in like six months. Oh, this is... That's a really dumb idea, Greece. Okay, now, time to publish my book here. So, yes, the Earth is round and revolves around the Sun. I am the third person in my family to realise this, despite the fact that previous members of my family have published books on the topic, so maybe I'm not really as clever as I like to think I am here. But, yeah, if I do that, the church will be annoyed. Could just continue in secret, stop with that for plus two, or become zealous. Which, okay, so, uh, hmm, okay, that might annoy some people, 
and it will annoy people of other faiths, but Marshall plus two is not terrible. No, I feel like I'm not really, like, you know, a zealous person. Like, clearly I've got sympathy for other religions, so that's not me. You know what? I shall take Scholar for plus three learning and continue studying in secret. Beautiful. Everyone loves the special shield ones. Okay, just very quickly ransack this here church just for fun. There we go. I'm educating Venetian children again. I've got a lot of them in the dungeons right now. Okay, we stole some money right there. Now we just bring the troops over here and smash these guys. You're going to deal with that, then go and deal with this idiot. And we're sending enough troops this time because I'm scared of this guy. All right, Lothair is not to be flipping underestimated. He is a terrifying terrifying individual. And my wife is pregnant, which is, to be honest, mildly surprising under the circumstances, but, I mean, okay, not sure of any of the logistics of this, but it's happened. That's good, the child might be a genius. Although for some reason, hang on, why am I not, why am I not hostile to these guys? I don't know why I'm not hostile, and I don't know why I'm not looting. I should be hostile and looting. Why am I not hostile or looting? Possibly I've got a truce against them because my vassals recently something something. I don't know. But for some reason, I am not allowed to go hostile or loot the territory of uh, Romaine anymore. But Italy's up for grabs, so screw it. We'll just take care of some of Italy. Ah, that's where the army of Padua is. It's next door taking out Verona. Got it. Well, that's all absolutely fine in that case. You guys do a good job over there. I'll clean up the Italian army while you're just wrapping up that nonsense. And oh, you're doing the same thing. Okay, fine. I may be a bit late to the party, but don't worry, lads. I've brought in... Oh, yeah, this is now going to be... Uh, this is now going to be a slaughter. And oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What are you guys after? Because you're now doing something too, and I'm loving how active you guys are being. I think they've just declared war on a random mayor. For the sake of getting him to report to, uh, yeah, those guys rather than me. Which, honestly, you could have just had anyway. You just needed to ask, but whatever. Ah, uh, yes, but, very importantly, now we've locked down Alexandria properly, new thing becomes available. The Myrmidons. The first ever Greek Holy Hellenic Order thing. So, uh, Yes, we'll be forming them right the flip now. Praise literally everybody with no spaces between them. So, newborn Hellenic religion now needs protectors. Absolutely spectacular. I'm not sure who this Constance is, who's going to be running the job, but apparently he's like, you know, somewhere. And here's something we haven't heard for a while. So, apparently, my wife is going to give birth to a child of destiny. Now, admittedly, the last person we heard that about was Eris, who ran away to Venice and triggered the Fourth Crusade. That was, you know, one of the most dangerous fights we ever had. But, still, maybe this time that won't happen. Oh, um, apparently there's, um, there's a plague in the Far East right now. Which, you know, right now seems like it's a very long way away... But the thing about, yeah, major plagues is, oh, that's, that's going to be a problem. Also, I knew this would happen. Yes, we did actually predict this was a golden age. I feel like the PR is going to not do the job anymore once people realise the plague just showed up. How bad is it it's the Black Death? I feel like it's very early for the Black Death, but like maybe it doesn't just show up, you know, at the historical date. Maybe sometimes it just uh, shows up a bit uh, early. Okay, so the Black Death is coming, but that's fine. It's way over there. There's no way it's going to trouble us all the way over here, obviously. Ah, yes, and that adventurer who we couldn't assassinate, you've also shown up. So, okay, precisely like, who are you and where are you? Like, where are all these... What the cock? Okay, um, he just showed up with 59,000 troops. That's more than I was expecting. I'm going to be... Okay, um, guys, we're going to have to call off, like, the the raiding of Italy for the time being. Like, I know we were all having fun, and that, that was great. It was really good fun. Uh, it's time for you guys to fall back and stand the flip down. Okay, maybe one more city. Like, one more city. How are you guys doing? No, that's a 5.5. Uh, you get the... Actually, you know what? Get into Ragusa. Ragusa's fine. Uh, just finish this up if you'd be so kind. Thank you. There's a bit more money. Uh, okay. We've got money. We're just swimming in money right now, thanks to all of this looting. So that's fine. We can hire mercenaries to assist with this. 
back into our home territory, stand the flip down, yes, um, all the gold, and 20% morale. That's a big bonus right there. All right, troops, stand down for the time being. Might need to raise you somewhere, you know, better. And uh, the raiders will stand down. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. You guys, uh, in a moment, stand down too. There is a bit of play going on. It's not like the plague, though. Don't worry, it's fine. Everything's under control. Okay, so officially, this guy wants to conquer Armenia. That's what his job is right now. That's what he plans to do. So, uh, okay. Admittedly, it's going to take us a while to to mobilize our forces. How much do we actually, like, you know, have just out of interest? Okay, we can out-muscle him, but it's gonna take, like, everything we've got, which is uh, unusual. Here's one advantage, though. Where he spawned is, yeah, there's, like, no supply here. So he's gonna lose a ridiculous number of men before he even makes it to where he wants to go. Okay, begin raising up the troops, please, all right? Bulgaria, raise up over there. Good, 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 good. So those troops are basically just teleported to this side of the world. That's the one advantage to having a bit of Bulgaria and a bit of Greece everywhere. The Greek troops can be raised here or here. You stand them down over here, they can just teleport over here and be re-raised. So troops just sort of teleport around, which is great. So we've got 10,000 troops right there. Uh, what else do we have here? Bosnia! You guys must have, like, some troops, right? Yeah, there we go, 2,300. Uh, what's the actual... Oh, the supply limits around here are going to be a nightmare. Uh, you guys, getting over here. Raise the Armenian troops. That's another 2,000. Right, so we got about 15,000 in that part of the world already. Not enough, obviously. Not even close, but it'll do for now. Anatolia, what have you guys got to uh, offer me right now? Ah, uh, yes, Anatolia is actually already standing because there's a handful of uh, guys here. You idiots. Uh, hang on, what's this? That's planes. Okay, uh, deploy some commanders to assist and... No, what are you doing... Okay, you're over there, apparently. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, just get over here. Annihilate these raiders. Just get them out of the way. Then we'll send you to assist with all that good stuff. Thrace, you haven't been mobilized for a while, right? 5,000 troops right there. Flipping love it. You go and join these guys too. That's about 25,000. My main army, including my retinues, will be mobilized, all right? At the bare minimum, send them to Constantinople. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Then we got ourselves, yeah, obviously the forces of Trebizond. You guys are, oh, just look at this. This corner right here. This is where we can raise a lot of flipping troops. That's 21,000. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So my main forces can head in that direction, join up with uh, those forces. And then we're going to be raising uh, my actual forces. These guys almost never stand, but they should be some of the most elite troops going. In fact, guys, just meet up in Constantinople. I'll bring my troops together into one mega ball. All right, keep an eye on this guy, because though he's moving in right now, he's going to be losing troops, like, fast, okay? He's going to lose a lot of troops very quickly, because nowhere in Armenia supports this many troops. Uh, you're doing a good job with some mounted defense. You're going to start just, yeah, you're pruning them. You're pruning them down, but it's not going to be enough. Everything's fine. In fact, you know what? You guys should really uh, fall back slightly. Just in case. I'm a little bit concerned. I do not want to have my army picked apart before reinforcements arrive. You've almost taken care of this. Well done over there. That's all absolutely fine. Good. So we've seen off a few uh, looters and raiders over there. You head north fast as you can. So far we have not summoned, uh, yeah, the Croatians to this war. I'll hold them back for now in case we need reinforcements anywhere else. Also, the Greeks haven't been summoned. They've got a really solid number of troops to deploy them over in this direction. My troops are gathering in Constantinople. For the moment, I kind of hope he just, yes, yeah, sieges down some territory. Because he will find himself losing troops very quickly if he tries. And where's he going right now? Okay, Zeta's prospering. Great. And ooh, okay. It's prospering more than I thought. So, uh, scholars looking for patrons. Honestly, that's pretty exciting right there. Yeah, tech points up for a thousand gold. Do it. Absolutely fine. Beautiful. Knowledge is indeed power and... Oh, he's already starting to lose, uh, lose some troops here. Then again, the forces are also uh, splitting up. That kind of works for me. To be honest, that does work for me. Because even split up... Yeah, they're starting to take some damage for the time being. So... Uh, yeah, you guys are definitely all splitting up for the time being. This is good. This is actually uh, positive. Armenia, you guys just fall back 
for the time being. Once they're in groups of 9,000, then we can start picking them apart. Yeah, he's just splitting up into that. But even then, these guys are starting to uh, fail a bit. And, oh, that's a shame. It's not a son. And it's also not a genius. Okay. So, uh, I would say there's only one name we can go for here. It's time to bring Eris back out of the closet. And you shall be educated by your own mother. Absolutely lovely. Okay, two armies of 13,000 odd are currently forming up on the borders of Armenia. This guy is going to start doing a bit of sieging. But honestly, if he does a little bit of sieging, he'll just, yeah, lose men. Not really bothering me, to be honest. Yeah, 13,000 and 13,000. Where are you going right now? You're moving, uh, you're moving over here. This is mountains. That's the problem. This whole territory is so mountainous. Yeah, catching up with him and ambushing him is going to be uh, difficult. Right, bring my troops together, but be very careful. Is there actually a path I can follow? Yeah, if I actually go along the coast, we should be uh, mostly okay. So deploy this group along the coast over here. They should be fine. Okay, looks like these forces are starting to be, yeah, worn down a bit. We're probably in a good position to start picking them off one by one. Greece is coming into and Greece. Greece, please just stay here for a second. Fall back just like one level. Oh, I'm taking massive losses because Greece was walking alongside me. Still, on the plus side, you guys are, yeah, expanding really well into Romaine. Very good, Thrace. Very good. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves one isolated group, including the actual guy himself up north. Uh, just very quickly check whether I've got any new commanders as might be appointed. Yes, you. Uh, you look pretty good and you look competent enough. Actually, rough terrain expert. Right, so, uh, King of Armenia, you're going to be uh, very useful, actually. And actually, Constance the Tormentor is going to be there too. In fact, hang on. Constance the Tormentor. Are you by any chance actually like the current, you know, ruler of that whole new Holy Order thing by any chance? No, I think that's a different Constance. That's a shame. Right, deploy those guys onto the flanks of this army, which is about to now go up here and attack into the mountains. But this is now an army that's extremely good at fighting in mountains. So that advantage is now going to not really be so available to him. And yes, I know you're doing some sieging, it's fine. Where are you guys going, by the way? You're now heading into, okay, uh, Kliat, down over here. As soon as you're locked, I might move to... Uh, intercept so yeah on the 13th you'll be locked right now not so much so okay here we go wait 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 there we go deploy troops down over there that's all absolutely fine we've got decent if not spectacular commanders uh, you're taking damage uh, right there oh you're taking you're taking so much bloody damage uh okay that's because stop walking past me you dicks okay why are you determined to make this more difficult than it needs to be. Get down over here. Bloody hell. I thought this through. All right. It's my bloody vassals who are screwing this up for me. Right. Get over here. You should be able to demolish these guys and... Okay. Um. When you say the plague is approaching. How... That was faster than I was expecting. Like, you know, I knew it was going to be coming. Didn't realize this fast. Um. It's kind of... Yeah, it's pretty much at the... At the borders, actually. Okay, me and you need to wrap this up because there's, you know, a bigger storm coming. Right, seriously, naff off, naff off, and keep naffing off. We should be able to, yeah, destroy this guy. Uh, the center's in a bit of trouble, but he's got literally no flanks. So, uh, not what happens if my flanks take on his center. Also, uh, what's going on for... Oh! Yes, yes, I can actually formally make this guy my boyfriend. Can I? I mean, yeah, you know, I'm going to try. I don't know whether he'll agree because I'm not sure whether he's actually, you know, into that. Officially, he's not. But screw it. I'm going to officially make my boyfriend my boyfriend. I'm going to date the king of Bulgaria, damn it. And I'm flattered, but I don't feel the same way. Let us be friends. And okay, that's fine. We should become close friends instead. All right. Fair enough. He just doesn't really swing that way. Uh, we're doing well up here. He's sending... Oh, they're sending so many reinforcements. Um, oh, there's also... Oh, okay. We're taking on you. That's fine. 
do we want to send reinforcements over here in the form of these guys? I mean, send the Greeks. No, don't send him over there. Send him around. All right, seriously, this is this is getting complicated. Bloody supply limits. Um, we should win that battle, or if we don't, we'll do very well. You're going to send more over there. You know, if he's sending more over there, I should send more in too. And he's not arriving until, yeah, the um, 14th next month. So he's moving slowly because of, you know, mountains, but he's sending in loads. Okay, this is it. Send everything in this direction. All right, this is going to be the battle to end all battles. And if he wants to keep coming, where well, I have defender's advantage and something, something in the sky. Um, observe the sky. Honestly, I'm already doing that, but sure, whatever. And are you still coming? No? I think he's just given up. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is, okay, this is going to go very well. You're now walking into a defended position. All right, I've now got the mountains, which is really, really damn good. You are, yeah, you've given up advancing. I'm about to move into this position, which is not good because supply limits. You move over here and deal with this. Uh, Greece can assist you. You guys are going to swing straight through here, smash this lot. But now we're starting to break them. We're starting to break them. And though your morale's a bit lower... Oh, especially in the center. I'm a bit worried about that. Because, uh, yeah, Constance is looking good. You're not moving in for four days, but it's going to be... You've got the mountain advantage, but the morale disadvantage. And, okay, we're trying to study the sky. Great. Um, Okay, everything's fine. Uh, in comes this fight. This is a dicey one. Just because, yeah, my center breaks immediately. But his center is screwed too. Oh, oh yeah. My mountain lads are doing a good job. Mountain defense. We're just firing down at him. He's just been chased off. And more's coming in. They're just going to send more and more people up the mountain. What a bunch of loser idiots. Okay, I think we got him. We got him at this point. Then we just need to counter siege this territory. And Armenia has been saved. Oh, I say that. Um, you guys are... Uh-oh. Uh, we might have... We might have problems, actually. Uh, okay. Everybody, like, redirect over here, actually. I feel like we might be about to go into some bad, bad stuff. Where are you guys going, by the way? You're both going to... To Dwin. This is most of what they've got left. Right. Deploy my best commanders, including the mountain lads. Deploy all of the mountain lads, please. Yeah, this one's about to get, uh, ugly, actually. New duchies are being created somewhere, and Anastasia's been cold with me lately. Look, it is not my fault your children keep dying. I wanted to make them emperor, not my problem. Also, apparently I forgot to show up to visit her Jewish heretic uncle who enjoys fishing. Okay, but fortunately, because I'm good at brewing potions, and I've got copper in my treasury, I can cheer her up, and also I'll pick up some prestige for being a night owl. Okay, here we go. Have some copper infused brew. Oh, this this fight's gonna be, this fight's gonna be a nightmare. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, so I'm also yep looking at the sky for some reason, and yeah, keep going. All right, we need to successfully finish my mission. I should not be deploying more troops here. This is. This is looking dicey. Then again, my flanks are holding steady. Deploy reinforcements. All right, I think we've actually got the superior troops here. More troops are now coming in and more troops behind them. And now we should be able to move in with this 10,000 and just counter siege all of this lot and a new bird. Ooh, um, do we want to do, yeah, the falconry or am I already a falconer? I am not already a falconer. Okay. Because I'm clever, I should try and become a poet. I feel like that's my sort of a thing. How's this? Oh, no. This fight was a disaster. They sent everything into that. Okay, we've just lost a lot of men. Like, so many men. Uh, but on the plus side, we can start counter-sieging. And, okay, aspiring poet, diplomacy plus one. That's great. Uh, but we're about to walk into a nightmare by the way. Um, okay, so he's still got 26,000 troops, and I'm down to uh, not that much. I mean, we're draining him fast as we can. You could just... Oh, that's five, though, which is not good. Oh, Anastasia! Anastasia's actually passed away, probably from the bloody Black Death. Okay. Um, 
What else do we have to throw at this problem? Not much. We've got Croatia, Epirus, and Ragusa. Honestly, I'm sending them, and I'm also going to buy some mercenaries, because I really should have bought mercenaries earlier. And we do also have uh, Holy Orders. But sadly, they're already... Wow. Okay, that's a lot of folks, but they're already working with uh, Bosnia. Okay, I'm guessing they're the ones doing the good work over here. That'll probably be you right there. Okay, we're already losing money because retinues are expensive to uh, maintain. But honestly, I kind of don't care anymore. We just need anything, actually. You guys are relatively cheap. You guys are relatively cheap. Uh, who else wants to come and work for me? You guys are relatively cheap. And there are basically no mercenaries in the world right now. Okay, that's all fine. You guys, pull together. Make your way towards Constantinople where there are... Why are there bloody raiders? I can do without that right now. Okay, everything's everything's fine. Uh, you guys, stand up your troops. Send them over to there, please. Uh, Croatia, same deal. Situation just got a bit uh, urgent, actually. Okay, so they've now got 26,000 bumming about, but they're going into low supply limit areas. Now, that's good. That's very, very good indeed. And I'm gaining knowledge and prestige. I'm studying the stars because that's obviously the most important thing to be doing right now. Haven't lost any of my commanders uh, just yet. And uh, a monument. A monument to me. I'm going to be honest. I can't spare a thousand gold right now. Our gold is going to start going down uh, so fast. And... Uh, Keep going. We're going to keep studying the stars, damn it. Keep on keeping on. You need to seriously just get through this. We need to take some of this back, like, now. Why are you guys not... Oh, for goodness sake. I thought you were... Sorry, Anastasia is... Oh, yeah, she is dead. I thought she was dead. Okay, we're just dealing with her funeral. Got it. So, uh, I can get drunk. I can end my friendship with my boyfriend. Or I might become uh, depressed. No, we're going to go get drunk in that case. And apparently I got drunk with the eunuch we invited to court a while ago. So, uh, sure, let's be friends with him. Hooray. And yeah, you're moving in this direction. And hopefully you'll start losing troops. Like, fast, actually. Because I could really do with you losing troops in a hurry. And we've got ourselves... What's even going on there? Oh, bloody hell. We're about to lose some troops to these idiot raiders. Okay, deploy the mercenaries, get rid of these idiot raiders, just get everybody moving over there, please. The secondary army is now coming in. Also, bloody hell the- wait, what? Ha hang on. What- what just- What just happened? What- why- why are we not at war? What? Hang on. He's died of Black Death! Yes, the Black Death has saved us! Which is probably the only good thing it's gonna do. Actually, so yeah, okay, it's 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 spreading. It's definitely it's definitely spreading. That's that's uh that's a thing. Also, there's some measles in northern Italy, but I feel like that's less that's less important. So okay, we've just been saved by the Black Death, and also Armenia's just eaten. I swear, Armenia did not used to have all of this. Oh, bloody hell. My retinues are down to 1,800 men. This is going to be uh, very expensive uh, to sort out. Okay, this is... Well, this is just great. Right, send the retinues uh, back home in that case. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Obviously, precisely what I wanted to say. But on the plus side, sure, we've got no army anymore. And the Black Death is about to kill everybody. But I am now... A poet. Boom. Okay, so over the course of that war, I managed to lose 10,000 of my personal troops. And also, wow. Okay, about 25,000 odd troops from my vassals. And my retinues have just been trashed. Alright, we're just going to move them down to... Actually, in offense, we need to get them fixed up. We can probably just about afford that once I've broken down all of these uh, mercenaries. That should... B-A-O-K-er, -okay, probably. Also, you know what now would be a good time for? Now would be a good time for, you know, some extra uh, medicine and whatnot. Yes, disease resistance. I doubt it's gonna do that much, but it's gotta be worth something. One medical academy, make it happen. 
You know, normally I enjoy playing Crusader Kings 2 because it's a beautiful form of escapism from real life. But today, no. Today we're involved in long, drawn-out, destructive wars in the Middle East that end inconclusively and then we all die from plague. So, uh, yeah, sometimes things get a bit too, uh, a bit too real. Okay, but I know what will make me feel better about all of this. We're gonna go burn Venice down again. Burning Venice down always makes me feel good. Though it started, the plague is very much inside my borders right now, and it is clearing people out like, uh, like crazy for the moment. So we've just lost a count over in Anatolia, over there. So a new kid has just taken over. There's probably going to be, uh, there's going to be more of that. Yep, Adana tried to plague wiped out that guy. So a girl is now in charge over there. You died in... Okay, you were burned at the stake uh, for being for being pagan. Who the flip burnt you at the stake for being pagan? I don't know, because maybe you were the wrong type of Hellenic. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, the forces of Trebizond in particular took a battering. Greece took a real battering. Bulgaria's not so bad. They'll recover in time. Okay, other slight problem. So, every single one of my commanders has basically just resigned effective immediately because I assume they've gone back home to lock the gates. So we're stuck with very poor quality commanders for the time being, which is not good. Not good at all. Though honestly, if you were over in Samos right now, I would join up with the army because you've got a better chance just wandering around over in Italy than you've got where you are right now, I promise you. And finally, I understand the stars, apparently. Like, I've understood the stars several times, but now I understand it, like, better. And... Oh, dear. I'm guessing we just had our first star. Uh, oh, yeah. The King of Greece is now dead. Which is a concern. We liked him. I mean, I know he was called the Tormentor. But, you know, we liked him anyway. So, he's dead of plague. Uh at this point, which is, uh, not, not great. Okay, um, who are the most important people in Greece? Who fancies being the next king of Greece? Okay, the candidates would appear to be whoever's running Hellas versus whoever's running Thessalonica. They seem to be the most powerful. Okay, new Duke of Hellas would potentially make a good little diplomat. Not bad at all there. 19's a good score, and, uh, wow, that's with dull. That's such a shame. He's also a stressed lunatic, so, you know, there are downsides. And Duke Zeus II of Thessalonica, he's got less troops, but then he's a child, so that's not too surprising. He is, however, yeah, apparently quite handsome and a Scorpio. But he's, wow, he's literally only just been uh, born. Okay, sorry guys, but I think we're going to be changing that round for the time being. Congratulations, your clan's now actually being promoted to King of Greece. Obviously, he wants to be on the council, and he may be on the council. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. With 19, you'll do a good job. Yep, statecraft, just get that threat down, please. And then after that, yeah, we'll basically just restore all of these guys to, uh, to you. There we go. All transferred over, aside from this guy who's reporting into Bulgaria, which I think he already was, so that's probably fine. Oh, and well done to Cornwall, who actually managed to, yeah, kick out the actual Vikings and thus start building their own tiny independent empire. Oh, well done, lads. I'm very proud of ya. That is a lovely hat, too. Oh my goodness, my boyfriend's apprenticeship is over. And apparently, as a parting gift, I gave him a book with some of my best thoughts in it. So, oh, that's lovely. I gain a ton of knowledge. He actually gains two learning. And I need to take myself... A new apprentice. Oh, I'm sad I'm not going to see him anymore. I liked that guy. Okay, new plan though. If I want myself an apprentice, and apprentices tend to end up smarter, then I should get my court physician on board. Because one, my doctor liking me is going to be really useful right about now. And two, the smarter she is, the more likely she is to be able to, you know, save me from the Black Death. So, welcome aboard. And we've actually got ourselves, yeah, spare advice position right now. Because a lot of children seem to be inheriting a lot of things right now. So, okay, I've got a plan. What we're going to do is, uh, yeah, that there uh, very loyal, friendly uh, eunuch 
We're going to make him advisor. And then we're going to change his role to the steward. Then the steward will just become the advisor and everything will be fine. And because I don't actually care about the possibility of this guy dying and he's a lot better in general. Yeah, collect some taxes. We're going to be needing uh, money. So much money. So just get in there and collect some taxes, please. Alright, here we flipping go. Time to have ourselves some plundering, because I suspect that, yeah, a lot of diplomacy is sort of uh, wearing out right now, because a lot of people are dying, like so many people are dying. Oh, but on the plus side, up over here, Georgia, is there even... Does Georgia even exist anymore? I'm not sure there's actually any Georgia left, so uh, the Byzantine Empire is now... Uh, easily the largest it's ever been. We've got a massive amount of territory over here. Would have had a bit more, but I kind of, you know, gave some of it away because I couldn't really be bothered to uh, to fight for it. You know how it is. Still, that did get my threat down, though now my threat seems to be going up again constantly, despite the fact I'm not actually doing anything. Still, it's close to 50. Below 50, we're good to go. And yes, indeed, everybody's starting to... Oh, bloody hell, it's, it's very much here. It's so here, it's it's basically at Zeta, isn't it? Yep, it's it's pretty much at Zeta. It's it's absolutely it's everywhere. The Black Death is just everywhere. Apart from down over here, for some reason. It just seems to be not spreading in that direction. Which is odd, but whatever, eh? Yep, that's a lot of big ass piles of corpses right now. The Pale Rider has indeed brought the Black Death to this country. So this is this is gonna be good. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, the economy is already dead. This is fine. Uh, lower the amount we're paying for the maintenance and repair of uh, the retinues, who are still trying to make their way home and presumably bringing plague with them because I'm a genius like that. It might be time to to close the, uh, the gate. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait as far as I can. I mean, I'm glad they're Hellenic. They'll have some comfort from Zeus in their final moments. The best that we've got right now is... Uh, the hospital is yet yeah, we're working on it all right we are literally building a new okay more people are dying so that's uh that's the guy who was the uh the duke of antioch so we've got we've got that now he's now very dead uh who wants to be the new duke of antioch is anybody not dead okay honestly you seem like the best qualified person for the job you hold like all the territory so congratulations in fact hang on stratagos poseidon the second aren't you actually um Next in line to be... Yeah, you're actually next in line to be Emperor right now. How are you getting on, by the way? Not not spectacular. And you are right now in the middle of a, a plague zone. So uh, I feel like, yes, this, <laughs> this might all change a lot as time goes by, actually. Like, so much. Who's voting for my wife, by the way? Okay, Calendar of the Byzantine Empire. Good choice. She is a good egg, my wife. Also, yes, this could make life easier. I'm just going to move the actual, yeah, the Pontifex Maximus position over to Imperial Elective. So I assume, therefore, it will just move with the Imperial title, which is probably for the easiest. Oh, and here's the option again. One at final holding slot for Zeta. I'm going to take it. I mean, it's expensive, but bloody hell. There we go. Zeta's actually going to be a proper full territory. I could have sworn that already happened, but whatever. I must be misremembering how many times that event's fired in the past. Meanwhile, over here, yes, here we go. Just, just move in and just like knock over these idiots. That's all absolutely fine. There's some good conversion going on there. Get in there. And what have I just stolen, by the way? I have stolen a, a crown of lilies. Well, that's just lovely. We missed that the last time we came through. I'm going to be honest, I'm not in the mood for going on a pilgrimage right now. Because there is the small, small matter of... Oh, it's here. It's, it's here. Yeah, the plague has hit Zeta. It's time. It's time to shut the gates. Alright, before anybody gets sick. Because for now, I am not sick. The plague has not made it into the castle, but... It's only a matter of time. Against the Black Death, obviously, there's not much you can do. My hospital was worthless. Okay, the economy is just about holding together for now. We're going to prop up the economy by stealing Venices. That's literally my plan right now. We're just going to rob North Italy to keep the economy going because I suspect my tax revenues are going to start uh, collapsing very, very soon indeed. Still, a period of peace might not be the worst thing in the world. 
Good chance for my threat to go down a bit. Drop below 50%. Then we can start, you know, moving again. We have at the bare minimum locked down Alexandria. So, uh... We're still where we were. Oh, there's a massive revolt going on down over there. What do you guys want? Just a war against tyranny, not a major one. Oh, there's a lot of depopulation and gravestones and pyres and corpses going on. Yeah, things are not, not looking hot anywhere, actually. Everything is very much being set on fire. I mean, to our credit, we did have a really, really good level 4 hospital here. It just wasn't good enough as it turns out. I mean, look at Zeta these days. It is a center of worship, regimental grounds, a glorious monument to me. There's been a recent influx of loot, scholars foundation, level four hospital. One day we might need to build a great monument in Zeta, just so it truly is one of the ones of the world. But I feel like, you know, for the time being, maybe we should stay focused on uh, the important stuff, like the fact we're all about to die of the plague. So, okay, next time, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like, yes, I'm going to be very, very thankful that I have tried to make an effort to expand the dynasty a bit. So, uh, you know, there are still members of my dynasty sort of floating around, some of them anyway. Okay, these are all dead ends, but I swear I have actually been making a, a bit of... Oh, they're all dead too. Okay, died of cancer, uh, died of the plague, died of the plague, died clutching his heart. You're still alive for now. Okay, this... Um... We might have a problem, actually. We've actually only got 36 living members in my dynasty. And we've lost, like, you know, 10% of them in the last week. And there's not, there's not much, actually, floating around, actually. There's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of dead people in this dynasty. A lot of, a lot of dead ends. Like, here's one. Look, I've found somebody. This guy shall be emperor. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. He's got good diplomacy and everything. Oh, hang on. He's a priest, so he's not eligible. Okay, so he physically can't be emperor. <laughs> Right, scratch another one off the list. Good, good. Here we go. I've found some. I've found some people of my dynasty who aren't dead. They're children, but that's better than dead. Ooh, but here's fun. I could create the Kingdom of Georgia. Someone seems to have uh, destroyed it. And I can actually give that to... I feel like Bosnia should have that. Like, Bosnia has done a lot of the heavy lifting here. It would be nice to... Yeah, you know what? We're going to make that happen. There is now going to be a kingdom of Georgia. And it's going to be handed straight over to... Uh, yes, here we go. Duchess Bloodaxe. That's an excellent title. You may have a kingdom. There we go. Kingdom of Georgia. Just so I know, does that actually give you the right to uh, do anything? No, literally nothing. Because all the rest of this belongs to... Uh, somebody else. But like, you know, maybe at some point, when somebody dies or something, we'll do a bit of a uh, vassal transfer, Reg. Honestly, you didn't get anything out of that. That was just so, you know, we could say you had it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think you know what's coming next time. The Black Death has reached Zeta. Our capital is now shut. It is under siege. My troops are trying to recover, but it's gonna take some time. So, uh, the army is weak. Tax revenues are about to... Uh, plummet but on the plus side it's going to affect everybody else so we're just going to keep raiding venice that's my economic plan for the time being venice will pay for everything it's gonna it's gonna be fine everything is gonna work out it's gonna be spectacular i promise so okay we just need to survive the black death hunker down for a few years once it passes figure out who the flip's still alive because my dynasty could be in a lot of flipping trouble all right all my plans now kind of very dangerously looking flimsy. All my children could end up dead. The guy over in Antioch could end up dead. And Themios, already dead. Poseidon II, do not fancy his chances. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, problems. Next time, utter chaos as the succession just basically descends into bananas on toast. So, hopefully, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Crusader Kings 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, this no, this no, guy's no. enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. <laughs> oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky. That's look right. at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear. And then oh, in come the chariots. Yeah.